Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Eclectic Witch Natasha. I'm going to be off camera for this video. Um, I know there's a lot of craziness going on in the world right now, and I basically just wanted to give you guys a video to kind of take your minds off of this virus outbreak and just kind of, you know, get back into the magic of it all. And what better of a distraction on my channel than another grimoire flip through? So this grimoire is very different from the rest of the grimoires I have grimoires I have ever showed on my channel or ha I have ever kept in my personal practice for a couple of reasons. One, this grimoire is different because of the information it holds. This grimoire is different from any of my other grimoires because this is not a regular grimoire. This is a grimoire that is specifically for everything that is energy work. Um, I do a lot of energy work in my practice. I wanted to keep everything I knew about it separate from other t traditional spells and witchcraft and whatnot. So I wanted to keep it all separate. And this is what I came up with. So basically, a couple of years ago, I decided to go to Walmart and I was going to use a sketchbook for this project for my grimoire. And um, the only thing that was calling out to me was this small uh, sketchbook. And then once I finished it so fast, I was like, oh no, I need to expand. I need to add more. So I basically E6000 to, yeah, see how worn it is? It's pretty awful. But um, I E6000 to Walmart um, miniature uh, sketchbooks. And they have hold. That part is not coming undone. But this is pretty worn. I use this. I used to use this daily. I don't use it as often, but I do refer to it quite often. But let's just get into the Grimoire Flip Through. But like I said, everything in this book is not really witchcraft related. It's all things dealing with uh, energy work and spirituality. So that's why it's separate from everything else I own. So this book has had a lot of love and a lot of worn, and I'm just going to flip through and let you guys see it for yourself. So... This is just my dedication page. I have some quotes here. My tips and my way of how I prefer to meditate. And if you want to look at any of these pic um, pages, feel free to pause the video. My techniques on how to center, how to charge yourself step by step. Yeah, my drawings are not so artistic, but you get the point. Information about grounding. How to recharge yourself using crystals and how to clear. Um, this is basically an energy clearing uh, technique on releasing um, energy from yourself, toxic energy that you can release into the earth. So I like using that a lot. Energy signatures, basically explaining that energy signatures is basically like your energetic thumbprint. Alternatives to meditation, because for a while meditation was not the thing for me and I had to use other methods. But now I actually am into meditation, but it's nice to have options, especially when you haven't mastered the technique. So shielding techniques. Like my little stick figures, y'all. <laughs> uh, purple Pyramid of Light. The Mirrored Ball. Other shielding techniques. So sorry, I'm trying to hold the pages open. Energy manipulation. Natural energy conductors. Very important in energy work for me. Practicing energy manipulation. Just the basic um, absorbing and projecting using your... Um, Dominant hand and receiving hand. How to create energy orbs. If you see any topics in this book that you would like me to make a specific video on, just comment down below. Okay, augmented healing. This is just energy healing techniques. It's not necessarily Reiki this technique, but um, yeah, advanced, uh, advanced energy healing techniques. Like I said, this is all dealing with energy work. So how to create filters when shielding. So this is useful for when you want to shield your energy from others, but you don't want it to be such a, such a permanent, hardcore, uh, what's it called? 
psychic shield so you can create holes or filters so you can filter out the energy um, that you want. You can let the good energy come in and let the bad energy stay away. Spiritual cleansings, very important for um, built up energy in a room or a, hu or a house or even for yourself. Ooh, this is my little sun mantra. So basically, I came up with this. I like to go outside to ground and then I also like to use the sun's energy to charge. Like kind of like some people that like to draw down the moon for, uh, you know, the full moon. I like to draw down the sun's energy and channel it through me by using this mantra I made myself. So I just say, sun above me, charge my skin, energize me from within. And I just say that over and over and over again, visualize and feel the energy coming into me. And I love that. I made it myself and it works for me perfectly. This is just some quick notes um, on using crystals with energy healing. Just how to basically care for your crystals. Like what crystals don't need uh, necessarily need cleansing. This is not a hardcore list. I could probably add more to it now with what I know. But um, I haven't really added anything to this grimoire in a while. Different shapes on their uh, usage for crystals. How to deprogram a crystal, how to crystal grid, EMF protection, ways to cleanse yourself, a space and objects. I have my little list here. And then this is starting to break down auras. So necessarily saying what is the aura, what does the aura consist of, the layers. And then we get further into the color meanings of the aura. Probably should have added um, crayon colors. That would have been nice. Yeah, this was the only um, the only grimoire I had that I did not care about look. So I don't know if this book is necessarily pretty, but it is definitely compact with information for me, and it works for me in my practice. I I still refer to this book a lot. So, and it has lots of love, as you can see. It's, it has some worn pages and definitely on the outside okay now this is interesting this goes a lot of people know that you have colors in your aura but a lot of people don't know that there are different types of auras so this breaks it down um i'm actually the projector that's my type of aura which apparently is somewhat rare which was interesting for me to find out i like to refer to this when i'm um doing energy healing for a client sometimes or I'm just trying to explain energy work to a friend or a peer and I like to incorporate quotes throughout all my grimoires if you haven't noticed so a lot of the quotes in this um grimoire has to deal with energy work or um spirituality in some way so this is dealing with this is more cheat sheets information for um treating clients with energy healing like if your aura has um has flares in it, it has broken or ripped up or it's torn apart, what does it look like? How do you treat that? Um, what happens if you have faint colors in your aura? If you hover over a spot in the aura and it feels too hot or too cold, what does that mean? What how do you deal with it? If you have um a spiritual attachment in the aura, what do you do? You know, so this is like my little cheat sheets black spots in the aura and then more quotes that re resonate with me a lot oh yeah see i like to incorporate them throughout so minor chakra system we have 21 minor chakra points and we have seven major ones oh this is just a little entry i'm not going to share that with you okay so now we're breaking down to the chakra points, um, talking about chakras in, in general. So I drew my little pictures and then I break it down into um, each chakra. So the root chakra, sacral, like I said, feel free to pause this video. I need to keep flipping because there's a lot of pages. This is going to be a long video if I don't. <laughs> Like I said, everything in here in this grimoire has nothing to do with witchcraft. Okay, so, yeah, using a grounding cord for energy. What do shamans do in time of stretch? This is basically telling you how to connect with nature, 
Okay, sound energy healing, different frequencies connecting to which chakra point, some more uh, quotes, Bi using binaural beats, okay, and, br and brain waves, okay, that's just another entry, I'm going to skip over that, that's another entry, <laughs> um, projective versus receptive, literally explaining that projective energy is energy going outward and receptive is energy going in, so... Okay, etheric cords or energy cords, different ways on how to cut them. And this is my little well-being chart. This is how I view well-being and I broke it down into little segments. This has helped me tremendously, especially during my Kundalini awakening, so I still refer to this. This is my little crystal grid of little layouts empath affirmations i'm about to make a video on this soon muscles um muscle tension caused by trapped emotions and then this is a little detoxing for when i want a, um, a ritual bath talking about the akashic records what exactly is it and this goes into more information about the 13 dimensions. I do astral travel a lot, and I just learned how to shamanic journey. So, um, well, not just learned a while back, but I do travel between the realms a lot. So, like, um, when I before, I really trusted myself to do it. I really wanted to make sure I had a good understanding of what each dimension was like. So, it's just a lot of words. But, like I said, if you see anything in this book that you would like me to go over into um, a video, just let me know. Okay. And then this is talking about how to work with trees in terms of energy work. So, um, how to befriend a tree how to choose a tree to work with and what their properties yep see a little list of what each type of tree is good for okay establishing communication with the tree how do you go about that practicing with the tree so this is starting to go with exercises on how you um work with the tree so i have different exercises with some pictures i try to do it the best i could um, I know some of you guys are wondering, how did I get this information in this particular grimoire? Some of it was self-taught and some of it was a combination of books and uh, blogs and other resources like that. And, you know, definitely feel free to use the internet for what you can. Not everything is right, but, you know, pick and choose. And if you're always, you know, unsure if the information is right or wrong... Always feel free to ask your spirit guide anyway. Yeah, so these are just little exercises on what you could do with trees. See, like how to absorb the chi from, um, how to absorb the energy of trees through your crown chakra. And why is it good for that and whatnot. See, so it's just more pictures. If I was to ever redo this grimoire, I definitely would make it pretty. Okay, six common energy problems. So energy tears. Stagnant energy, energy debris, energy sludge, energy, energy attachment, energetic hole. And then this is talk about the ego versus the soul, which is very important because when you're trying to channel your higher self, you need to be able to differentiate the voices in your head. What is ego and what is my higher self? And then I have, um, I'm so sorry, um, quotes here that I resonate with. This is referring to uh, soul retrieval. I do deal with some shamanism a little bit in my practice. So, and then it leads into empath. So, this is basically showing you the different emotions. This, this is basically a little chart showing you which emotions lead to what issues within your psyche and how to heal from them. Like, for example, anger shows you what you're passionate about what your boundaries are, and what you believe needs to change about the world. So, yeah, it goes through each uh, emotion. That's necessarily bad, but it shows you a different perspective on how you can work with that. Okay, 
different side effects of energy work, which is just talking about ener energy burnout and overkill and whatnot. And then I start going into what Reiki healing is. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to keep flipping. Like I said, this has a lot of information in it, but what a nice distraction, right? Okay, this is talking about the placements of Reiki and how different energy color orbs are good for different symptoms, different ailments, illnesses. Okay, and then we start going to gifts. This is about remote viewing, grid travel, astral travel, lucid dreaming, benefits of lucid dreaming, path working, mindful meditation, some steps to that, sound healing, vibrational healing, just more information on that, sex. The energetic exchange of how it is, the battery effect, whatnot. Okay, flower meditation, karmic cleanse, just some more quotes. Raising your vibration, some techniques, and then more quotes. More quotes, and then how to use the pendulum with your chakras. So, just have the information here. And then what each pendulum movement uh, means. If you're interested in that, let me know. Because um, in order to use the pendulum for your chakras, you don't have to be experienced at all. So, yeah, that sounds like a good video, actually. And then different signs on how do you know if your root or whatever chakra is underactive or overactive. So I have that little chart for each of the chakras. And then more information on pendulums and chakras. Guided, guided imagery, meditation sort of for each of the chakras. Okay, this is just a book blessing and then different uh, business cards I got from my area. And then we go into the second part. Yeah, but luckily for you guys, the second part isn't all filled out. It's maybe halfway, so. Um, me consecrating my pendulum specifically for energy healing. Okay, oh. Okay, this is a chart on how to circle energy within your hands. More quotes. Using pyramids for energy work. Cone of power. Concentrating energy. Okay, it's getting closer in here. Ooh, I was very inspired by um, Avatar The Last Airbender. So I just wrote down the different um, bending techniques with their actual martial arts correspondences. So, And then this is about... Um, a little pick me up on energy healing so energy healing you start on yourself and then you can start to heal others pets and animals and then group healing and then you can get into long distance so it's just like a little inspiration this is talking about the spiral on how its influence is used in um energy healing we talk about the clear senses each and every one of them see how it's like so worn it's crazy Yep, so each of the, and then I go into sh uh, psychic development, which I actually have added some of these into my online classes. So feel free to check them out, y'all. More psychic development techniques, tips, how do you do it, why they're important. And then we get more into actual Reiki. So this stuff, obviously, I was not self-taught. Um, I'm actually um, in the process of trying to get my Reiki certifications, but at the moment, um, this is just all notes that I've gotten from online and books. So I actually had my Reiki teacher look at this, and he was very impressed, is what he said, which I thought was funny, because that wasn't my goal. I just wanted to see how he took the information, if it was right and whatnot, so... This is just different situations on how you could use Reiki, like for cutting cords, financial abundance, the steps to doing that, eight ways to send distant Reiki. Like I said, this whole entire grimoire is nothing but energy work, which deals with energy healing and Reiki and 
um, intuitive gifts and detecting negative energy. So clearing. So this talks about um, negative thoughts and behavior, past life blocks, curses and hexes. How do you know if you are? What to do about them? Entities and spirits, psychic attack, energetic cords, negative space. Talking about the difference. This is just more quotes. Um, the difference between a spirit guide and ascended master. More information about spirit guides, the different types and how to connect with them. Talking about the evil eye and signs of it. Astral. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get more closer. Okay. Astral projection. This is a little prayer. This is my astral solve recipe. Ooh, things to do on the astral plane. Okay. Yep. More stuff. Building astral temple. Enlightenment. Performing magic on the astral plane. Yep. Astral magic. Okay. Astral travel allies and safety during astral projection. Like I said, if you see anything on here, just let me know. Ooh. Using magnets for energy healing and how that affects our auras. How to... Decalcify the pineal gland and activate it, and all tips dealing with the pineal gland and spirituality and energy healing. How to protect your pineal gland. Sorry. Another crystal grid, crystal grid. Quote. And then this is just another quote, the diagram. Morning affirmations and night affirmations, which I am still trying to incorporate more into my daily life. Quotes, quotes, talking about the Ankh, use for energy healing and energy work. And then this just goes on to each Reiki symbol, how to use it, all that good information, how to draw it. guys okay yeah so the rest of the book is literally just reiki symbols okay so let me skip to the part where it's not reiki symbols okay yeah so after all the reiki symbols after that is a little bit of shamanism because after my Kuni Awakening and got into shamanism and actually took a class to learn how to shamanic journey. So it talks about what shamanic journey is, the difference between uh, the upper world, the middle world, and the lower world. Then I talk about how to train your subconscious mind, how our DNA is affecting our energy, the vibrational spiral of our emotions, and then our primary emotions with our secondary emotions. This just helps with um, introspection work and shadow work and whatnot. And healing clients, so let them understand how their emotions affect them. This is just a little up-close chart on chakras, and then the little positive-negative yin-yang counterparts of each of them. So just another quote, another quote, and that is it. I know that was a long video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, feel free to like this video if you like more grimoire flip throughs. Let me know what you think in the comments and blessed be y'all.